so John Morant is in the news again uh, for uh, a gun, for 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 again being caught on video with a gun. You know, I not understand uh, the mistakes that that the young man is making. Okay, but what I don't agree with is the response that other black men uh, who know the pressure of being in the spotlight are, are, are reacting to him. You know, they're calling him down. They're saying that he, you know, they, they, that uh, he's stupid. Um, it's just, and they just really tearing the young man down, okay? Now, I'm not saying, I'm not excusing his behavior. And I'm not, and I'm not doing that, you know? Uh, he, you know, he does have to be careful of the company that he keeps. He has to understand that, uh, obviously the people that's around him aren't for him. You know? You know, was that a setup by his friends? You know, are, are, is his friends, uh, uh, setting him up? You know, scripture says, you know, bad company corrupt good manners. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he around people who 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 are not encouraging him to do what is right. So I said the first incident was just him, you know, uh losing his head uh and doing stuff that he don't have no business, okay? Now the second one is his friends. Okay. So that needs to be addressed. Okay, so if, if if again, you know, so I believe that this is a separate issue. I believe it's an issue with his friends, you know, uh, so, you know, uh, Ja obviously has layers of things going on to him not being able to handle stress was due to the first incident. Number two, the people that he's around. Now we, I'm not trying to police his friends. You know, we all got friends that that ain't perfect. I got friends that ain't perfect. You know what I'm saying? But you do, but it's certain, but I, I know my friends ain't perfect. And there's just certain things I just don't do with them. And there's just certain things I don't tell them. You know, you have to have discernment when it comes to that. You know, I don't tell my friends all my business. I don't tell my friends all, all that I'm doing. You know, because sometimes your friends just can't handle that. So I'm not saying that, you know, he shouldn't be friends uh, with, 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 with this one and that one. But you do have to be careful about what you're doing. You know, if your friends want to go out there and be out in the streets and things like that, you can say, you know, look, you know, we cool and you my friends, but you know, I'm not doing that. You know, if that's what you want to do, that's cool, but I'm going home. Or, you know, you know, they into gunplay and strip clubs and doing stuff like that. You know, sometimes you just got to be like, you know, we cool. You know, if you just want to go out to the Golden Corral and go hit the buffet, you know, we can do that. You know what I'm saying? If you want to come over to the crib and I and I put something on the grill and we can hang out in the pool or whatever, you know, we can do that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you know, you want to bring your gun and all that. If we go out, you gotta keep you gotta keep your guns at the crib. You know what I'm saying? You know, we we not doing all that. So he's gonna have to uh put his foot down as far as his friends. You know, if they can't respect you know, you respect them and, you know, they on that street stuff. You know, you respect that. You know, hey, you that's what you that's what you want. You know, that's cool. You know, but he's going to have to put his foot down to put boundaries up as far as his friends. You know, he don't have no boundaries. You know, he's 23. You know, he don't have any boundaries. But but like I said, this incident is just bad company. Bad company, corrupt good, corrupt good manners. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, he felt that he was with his friends and he could trust his friends and they weren't going to put him on live. Obviously, them ain't, them ain't your friends. You know what I'm saying? They already knew what the heck, what the heck was going on, because I ain't trying to cuss, what the heck was going on the first time. Okay? So you think that because you with your friends and it's the off season and your friends know what's going on, that you can just go ahead and, and do that. I just think he felt that because basketball is over. You know what I'm saying? And my friends know the deal. And I could trust them that he thought that I was quite okay. Now he find out whether in season or out of season. He need to be on point. That just because it's an off season, you still have an image on the off season. 
you know, you still can't do that. And I just think it's ignorance on his part. So I just think he thought, one, that he could trust his friends. And two, you know, it's not the season. So I could take a break and do some foolishness. But you can't. You know, it's be, unless not trip. You know what I'm saying? It's people that's then that's then done some stuff uh, off off day job that came back and bite, bit, bit them on the butt. Just regular people, you know, doing stuff and they, and come to find out they was out somewhere and they job found out and they had to let them go. You know, you think that you that you chilling and you ain't on the clock. You know, you could do whatever it is that you want to do. You can't. You know, there's plenty of people that wasn't on the clock and did some stuff they had no business. And come to find out that whether they're on the clock or, or on the clock or off the clock, it's just certain things that they can't do. And obviously, he don't know that, you know. So I, I will give him the benefit of the doubt. The season over. His season was over when they lost to the Lakers. And he thinking that, you know, he can he can do whatever. You know, he can let his hair down with his friends or whatever. One, since he's with his friends, they're not going to record on live. Number two. Uh, he think that he can let his hair down because he, he he ain't on the clock. You know, so like I said, you know, again, he just making mistakes. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, hey, he just going to have to know that in season or out of season, you need to be disciplined. Okay? And just because you ain't on the clock, that don't mean that you just go out here and do what you're supposed to do. Just do do whatever you want to do. And number two, obviously your friends ain't your friends. You know, why his friends, you know, would even do that and tell him to do that on camera, you know, they 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 for his downfall. So it's two things that that that, that the young brother needs to know. Bad company, corrupt good manners. And number two, you need to be on your game in season and out of season. Both of those are scriptures. You know. In season and out of season, you have to be disciplined. That means whether you on that whether whether it's it's during basketball season or after basketball season, you can't let your hair down. You know, you just you just in the type of industry where you can't. And that's just just for everybody, even for the saints. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of saints that get caught up in that. You know, you think that, you know, you got to be on point while you at church or in the pews or in the pulpit. But when you outside of the church or whatever, you know, ain't nobody looking. You could just do whatever, whatever it is that you want to do. You can't, you know, that's, so that's a lesson for everybody. You got to be on point. And it's hard. It's hard. You know, even even for the saints, you know, the saints be like, ah, you know, I got to be on point. Yes. Yes. Because the devil is constantly busy. I tell you what, the devil ain't sleeping. And for John Moran, the devil ain't sleeping. So you can't be sleeping either. 